Today we're opening Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Boxes worth $30? and $300. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. And as you guys saw, we have a couple of different mystery boxes. The recent monster box, I think this was like last year or something. Pretty awesome mystery box actually, but they're still not very expensive because they're fairly new. And I'm pretty excited to actually open this one because if you look on the back, there's a lot of really awesome stuff. And then we're opening a very old one. One of the original mystery boxes, the Cyberstein mystery box. Supposedly, you can pull a Jim Mint 10 SJC Cyberstein under here. Probably a complete lie that they use to get you to buy these things. But on the back, they also show you like MFC, IOC. It's probably a giant scam. I mean, Blue Eyes White Dragon, which is first edition. All this, well, that is Spanish. So, or wait, is that Spanish? Portuguese, sorry about that. So yeah, that is... Uh, you know, probably all a lie that you can get that stuff, but it's still a really cool mystery box. I used to open these up in 2018. When I first got back into it, I opened a ton of these, and it was super fun. Obviously, didn't get the Cyberstein, though. But before we get into the opening, I'm giving away this Legendary Duelist Rage of Raw booster box. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you want to see from the mystery boxes. Let me know your favorite mystery box, if you hate them, if you think they're worth it. Are they occasionally good, or do they usually suck? Also, I need to shout out Dr. Chickens on YouTube. He hooked me up with this booster box. Make sure you guys go check him out. His YouTube channel is like over 600 subs, so he's got a decent following over there. He helped me acquire this pretty tough to find mystery power box, so make sure you guys go check him out. The link will be in the description and in the pinned comment. All right, let's start off with the monster box. Let's see what we can pull in the monster box. There's like nine packs in here, I believe. Is that what it says right there? Nine booster packs, one legacy pack. Does that mean 10 or does that mean eight and one? I'm not sure. I think it means 10. Let's go one at a time. We have... A Shining Victories pack. Yeah, that was what was so cool about these is you could get a lot of fairly old stuff. Like Shining Victories is like 2016 and last year was, you know, four years later. So that was pretty cool. Let's start off with the Shining Victories pack. Let's see if we can pull a, you know, Crystal Clear Wing or whatever it's called. There's some blue eyes support in here, which is pretty cool. Fortissimo. We got the Master with the Eyes of Blue. Deskbot Base. Priestess with Eyes of Blue. There's the blue eyes. We got a Rank Up Magic, Skip Force, Bug Matrix, Protector with Eyes of Blue, Aromaphage, and Despot 9. I did not even realize this was a hollow. <laughs> it was pretty cool. Okay, on to the next pack. Let's see what we can go with. We got, ooh, Flames of Destruction. Usually all of these are unlimited, it seems like, but that's still awesome. I mean, they're totally worth to be open. Flames of Destruction. What? Oh, Called by the Grave. I think that's a few dollars. That's a good card. I might actually need this just in general, so I'm going to pull that out. Vindred Nightmare. Alter guys, Kedola, Kedolga. We got a Trinity. Nightmare Phoenix, super rare. That's the original print too. That is awesome. Goki face turn. Yeah, this is, wow. This is a good opening so far. We got a World Legacy Nightmare. All right, I'm liking this. Next we have the Legendary. What is the Legendary? Oh, oh, whoa. Galactic Overlord. Talk about an old pack. Maybe this is our Legacy pack. This is like 2011 or something. Okay. That's pretty old. Is it 2011? No, it might be newer than that. It has Xyz, so, well, they came out in 2011, so maybe 2012, 2013. Still pretty old. We have an Overlay Owl inside, so, so far, this has been a pretty good one. I think Monster Box is probably one of the best quality mystery boxes they ever did. Hieratic Dragon of, of Noit. Noit. <laughs> okay. Hieratic Seal. Oh, Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon! The cover card out of a random mystery pack out of a mystery box. Oh my goodness, that's pretty awesome. Ultra rare Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. The pulls are not slowing down right now. Oh my goodness, we pulled a Called by the Grave Common. We pulled a super, a couple supers, Nightmare Phoenix. And then of course, the ultra rare cover card. That is crazy. All right, next one. Oh, that wasn't our legacy pack? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Let's go. All right, let's go into the next Pharaoh Servant. This is insane. This has been a good opening. Oh, mystery or uh, legacy pack. You guys know what to do. Three-headed Guido. Drill Bug. Burning Land. Overdrive. That one's dinged for some reason. That's weird. Mr. Volcano. Maybe that was at the back. Uh, Minor Goblin Official. Flame Champion. And... Oh! <laughs> A Secret Rare Imperial Order! That was Jinzo. Oh my goodness. But still, that is a great pull. This has been insane. We've only opened like four packs. And look what we've already pulled. Amazing cards. Wow, that is absolutely nuts. This monster box is absolutely crazy. I'm hyped about this. If the other one even lives up partially. We're good. Okay, are we about to pull Ash Blossom now to Maximum Crisis? <laughs> Please, that would be great. I think it's like still like 70 bucks as an unlimited. Oh, wow. This one is bent. You guys see that up there? It's bent on the corner. Let's see if the actual foil is. Uh, the Review Dancer. The Spellogeist. The Metaltron 
12. It's not bent, but it's Metaltron 12 Super. So sub terra final battle. That's cool. And Speedroid. So we finally didn't hit something crazy. That was pretty good streak, guys. We're happy with that. Let's go to the next pack. It's, oh, Fusion Enforcers. Can we pull some Alistair? Can we pull some Invoked? Let's see what we can do. Yeah, I remember when I had to go and open every pack, I needed to get a Fusion Enforcer. So we opened, we got a bunch of monster boxes from Walmart when they were still out there. Bought Fusion Enforcers, or got Fusion Enforcers out of there, basically. Let's see, is the secret there? Oh! Invoked Kaliga. That's a nice invoked secret rare. Max rarity. That's very cool. Now we need the... Is Alistair a super, I think? Fright for? Elements over Prisma. So here's the Fright Furs. Yeah, I know about those now. Okay, Kaliga's a pretty good pull, too. This has been a really epic opening. All right, uh, Dark Saviors. Very cool. I like these side sets now a lot more. now that. Okay, apparently that's at the front. Now that we do um, auction. Vampire Vamp. Sky Striker. Ugh. Toon Table Contents, that's a good reprint. Sky Striker, Maneuver, Jamming Waves, and Foolish Burial Goods. Wow, that was a, that was a good pack, too. Every, everything's been so good. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. All right, next up, Breakers of Shadow. All this stuff is so old. Like, like this is pretty old stuff. I like this. All right, Solo, the Melodious Songstress. We got the Style Synthesis. Performa Pal, Rain Goat. That's, that is, that's creepy. Yeah. Destruction Sword Flash. And the Dharma Eye Magician. Okay. The Dharma Eye Magician. All right. We got the, the Dragon Buster. Feels like there's still like multiple packs in here. This is a lot. All right. We have Cybernetic Horizon. Can we pull that Boral Sword? We've pulled that like three times. And I barely opened Cybernetic Horizon. So it's kind of weird how often we pull it. We got a Contact Gate. Metaphys Ascension. Goki Moonsaw. Pretty pull it. Pretty sure I pulled it in, in the every pack opening as well. Umbrage, the Ultimate Lord. Cyanet Ritual. Cluster and Divine Serpent Gay. Next up, is there another pack? There's one more, I think. Oh, Duelist Alliance! I forgot they put these in here a lot. Duelist Alliance 2014 release date. So we're going way back. Shadal cards in here. So oh, Artifact Lancia as a common. Oh my goodness, that's insane. Yangzing Prana. Battle Guard Rage. Cool. Metaphys Armed Dragon. Breaker, the Dark Magical Warrior. That's pretty sick. Performa Pal Skeeter Skimmer. Okay, that's not the most exciting pack, but that was a pretty awesome monster box. If I should get more of those, let me know in the comments. Now we're on to the really expensive one, and I don't know if it can possibly live up to that one because those pulls were crazy. So just, I mean, if we get Cyberstein, obviously, I mean, we can get a $20,000 card or something. Let's let's see. So opening this is going to be fun. Dr. Chickens, thanks again, dude, for uh, hooking me up with this, and hopefully we can pull something good out of it. Make sure you guys go check out his channel. All right, let's see. What will we get inside? Uh, this one, I like, had it like this cardboard in it to keep everything in place. So we're, we're gonna actually going to have to reach around a little bit like that. Uh, oh, Judgment of Light. I remember these being in there quite a bit. So that's still pretty cool. You guys know what's inside. The Chicolates, Chica Chicolates. Let's see if we can pull them. All right, first pack. I think they also had like the crappy Monster League packs. All right, Sargasso Light. No, that might have been a different one. They're slightly different. Cheap, cheap, cheap. We got a Sonic... Sonic Boom! Umbral Horror Uniform. Moon Dance Ritual. Should be after this. Spell Recycler. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. No, no chocolates. We have Primal Origin. Another older pack. This is like 2013, I think, or something like that. Could be wrong, but... Ooh, the Bolt Penguin. Check him out. With each arm forming an electric whip, this monster paralyzes its enemies with electric shocks. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Bolt Penguin. Reverse Breaker. 100 Footed Horror. Battle on Boxer Big Bandage. The number C43. And the Vanish Sage. All right, all right. Not too crazy there. On to the next one. Another pack we have. What is this? Oh, it's stuck. Oh, no, it's stuck. It's stuck to those Monster League. I knew it had Monster League bags. What is this? Oh, Legacy of the Valiant. Okay, that's pretty sick. Uh, man, these have a lot of really old stuff because this is an old box. So at that time, it's probably like three or four year old packs, but now they're like eight year old packs. So let's see if we can pull Ghost Riders out of here. Let's see. We've got the Gorgonic Gargoyle. So far, I think the $30 box is beating the $300 box. Da -da -da Buster, the Jewel, Chronomaly Moy Carrier, Sylvan Kamushroom. All right. And Sylvan Guardiok. All right. More Sylvans. Cool. Ghost Trick Mummy. You get these bad Monster League packs. So then you get, is this a mat in here? It's one of the mini mats. Yeah, so this is Battle Pack 3 Monster League mat. That's pretty funny, actually. So that's, 
I mean, that's worth something. It's a mini mat. It's not bad. Now we have these packs, which are always a nightmare. I remember these were the ones that I would always open, you know, out of these boxes. And I was like, why are they like taped on or they're like glued on here? Like, look at this. This is a nightmare. Look at that. They're stuck together. Okay, I just opened it doing that. All right, cool. <laughs> I guess that's how we're opening these. We're opening them one at a time like that. We have Rush Recklessly, Jirak, Chow Lin, Intrigue Shield, and Evil Swarm O-Lantern. All right, extra packs on here. We're just going to open up the pack like this. Pretty wild way to open some packs, but that's how we're going to do it. Okay, Psychic Sword. Herald of the Orange. That's actually probably worth like several dollars. That's a good pull. Mizuki, that's cool for zombies. Psychokinesis and Umi Notorious. That's actually not a bad pack, shockingly. Maybe there's actually good cards now, because back in 2017, the most expensive card was like $3, I think. Or was it 2018? Whatever it was I was opening. Size 2018. Freya, cool. Black Velocity. Stamming Destruction. And Hypnocorn. Nice. Very cool. All right, two more packs. I'm going to open up these. This is painful. This is really painful. Okay, Magicians Unite. Blizzard Dragon. Very cool. Vampire Koala. Herald of the Green Light and Shocktopus. Very nice. And the final pack. Oh, not the final pack of the, of the box, just of the Monster League. Okay. Let's get rid of those. That, that nightmare. We've got a Windstorm of Etiqua. Oh, Rux and Special. Pass the Typhoon. Okay. And then another Typhoon and then a Gorgon. Okay. Actually got a couple of good cards though, which is not terrible. Okay. So we're not done yet. Now we have the deck. We got one more pack. Is that it? I think this might be it. Oh, what is this? Ah, oh, I was hopeful for this thing. The two per starters FaceTime showdown. Come on. I think it only is the one with like two pendulum monsters in it. Oh, that was a disappointment for sure. But we do have one more pack. What could it be? Please be something good. Please be something good. Oh, <laughs> Rise of Destiny first edition. Okay, that's pretty good. I was not expecting that. Rise of Destiny first edition pack. This came out in 2004, I think. Yeah, this is old. This is very old. Okay, let's see what we can get out of here. That's pretty sick, actually. Let's see what we can do. Can we pull an ultimate rare? That would be sick. All right, Homunculus the Alchemic Being. Mine Haxorks. Raging Flame Sprite. Yeah, if we pull like an ulti creator, then this side would win. That's what they need. Spell purification. Let's go like this. Let's let's build build the suspense. We've got the Bakoichi the Frightening Car. Invasion of Flames. Malice Dispersion. Foxfire. And is this it? Spell purification. No, it's this. Oh! First edition Ulti Machine Dupe! <laughs> The best retail ultimate rare out of one pack. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my goodness. What an opening. <laughs> How is that possible? One Rise of Destiny pack from a mystery box. First edition ultimate rare machine dupe. I thought it was a rare at first. And then I was like, oh my goodness. That's... <laughs> That's an ultimate rare, all you Cyber Dragon fans. There you go. I do have a Cyber Dragon deck, so I guess this one might be hopping in there. That is insane. We don't usually recap, but this was mystery box territory, and look at all the good cards we got. Like, this is a mystery box, and look at all this stuff. Oh my goodness, like that was insane. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure to check out Dr. Chickens. He sent us that awesome mystery box, which had a machine dupe in it, which is pretty awesome. So go give him a follow on YouTube if you enjoy his content. Shout out to TCU Trust Cards, Tonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Dual Scheme Cards, Banky McFarlane, G Raider, and Daxter. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.